producers across Canada, just like this one, are gearing up for the implementation of legalized recreational marijuana, which kicks in on October 17th. The implications of this are major, as Canada will become the first G7 nation to legalize the drug for recreational use. Of course, it is still illegal at the federal level in the United States. We interviewed the CEO of Oxley yesterday. His name's Chuck Rafici. They're creating a consumer packaged goods company in the cannabis space that does everything from grow to research to retail. They've invested in FSD Pharma, which owns the facility that we're live from today. Rafici's biggest concern about legalization for recreational use is that there may not be enough cannabis to start. It's certainly exciting that we're going to have legalization. Uh, different provinces, different jurisdictions across the country are going to be, have different levels of preparedness for retail. I think we will see empty store shelves uh, because we've seen that in every other place in the world that has legalization. Uh, and there will be a lack of product uh, over the first year. Uh, many of the comp producers across the country are ramping up production, uh, but there's still a bit of a lag for that to catch up. Market size has been really difficult to pin down. There's been estimates anywhere from 4 to $10 billion over the first two years. One thing that everyone seems to agree on, though, is that sales in year one will be especially limited because the product that they're able to sell is more limited. It's just flour, oil, and seeds, edibles that are very popular in markets in the United States like California, Colorado, and more. Those won't be on shelves until 2019, guys.